I am Hua Xing, an architect of Alibaba Cloud. Today I will walk you through environment creation, which is the most basic operation in container service for Kubernetes, ACK. I will demonstrate how to create an ACK cluster. Click Create Kubernetes Cluster. For example, you want to create a managed Kubernetes cluster. Specify a name for the cluster. Select a region. For the billing method, you can select pay-as-you-go or subscription. For the Kubernetes version and container runtime parameters, use the default latest versions. Then specify a virtual private cloud, VPC, for the cluster. For this demonstration, we select Turway for the network plugin parameter. Note that the network plugin cannot be changed after the cluster is created. After you select Turway, we recommend that you select IPVLAN. IPVLAN can help you obtain higher network performance. IPVLAN has requirements for the kernel of the OS. You can only use Alibaba Cloud Linux as the OS if you select IPVLAN. Then enable or disable the network policy feature based on your business requirements. Next, specify vSwitches for the node and pod. We recommend that you separately manage the two vSwitches. Select vSwitches in different zones to ensure high availability for the cluster. As a vSwitch is specified for the pod, you do not need to specify a CIDR block for the pod. However, you must assign a CIDR block for the service. The service uses a virtual CIDR block, which cannot overlap with the CIDR block of the VPC. If the VPC in which the ACK clusters resides is added to a Cloud Enterprise Network CEN, the service CIDR block cannot overlap with the CIDR blocks of other VPCs in the CEN. Then configure SNAT. If applications in the cluster and your nodes need to access the internet, select this checkbox. To allow your cluster to access the API server, you must use a server load balancer, SLB, instance as the high availability ingress. Use the default SLB instance type. Choose whether to select Expo's API server with EIP based on your business requirements. For the security group and elite protection parameters, retain the default configurations. As for the resource group parameter, we can select a resource group for the ACK cluster. Next, let's configure the node pool. The system creates a default node pool when the system initializes the cluster. Specify a name for the node pool. Then select the specifications of the node. Here you can view the number of pods that are supported by the specification in the Turway network. Note that different instance types that have the same number of vCPUs and memory size may support different number of pods. Then you can adjust the number of nodes and configure the parameters of elastic block storage. You can configure the size and performance level of the system disk. We recommend that you mount a data disk to the cluster. ACK will automatically format this data disk and mount the data disk to the Docker and Kubelet directories. This ensures that the OS can run in a stable manner, even if the containers contain a large amount of data. Then, about the OS and the security-related parameters, you can use the default values. Next, let's configure components. A wide variety of components need to be configured. In this course, we will only cover the most important components. We will have special courses to explain each component in detail. First, look at Ingress. We recommend that you select ALB Ingress. An application load balancer, ALB Ingress, can ensure better forwarding performance and simplifies the maintenance of the Ingress controller. Look at Service Discovery. For languages such as PHP and Golang that do not support the domain name system DNS caching feature, we recommend that you select this checkbox if you use Cloud Navi Core DNS for service discovery. This reduces the load of Core DNS. Use the default and only value CSI for the volume plugin parameter. 
If you use NAS file systems as volumes, we recommend that you select the checkbox in this section. This way, your cluster can provide more volume features. If you use the default configurations for monitoring and alerting, you are not charged for the configurations. In the log service component, events can be stored for up to 90 days for free. The extra storage is built on a pay-as-you-go basis. For the cluster inspection parameter, retain the default configuration. Next, we will check the configurations for the cluster. The itemized prices of the configurations are displayed in this step. After you agree to the terms of service, click Create Cluster. The cluster is created. Now you can view the cluster on the Clusters page. We can obtain the kubeconfig files of the cluster in the cluster information. If the API server of the cluster is exposed to the internet by using an elastic IP address, you can also use Cloud Shell to manage the cluster. Now let's look at how to create a serverless Kubernetes ASK cluster in the ACK console. Click the Serverless Kubernetes tab. Specify a name and select a region for the cluster. The first difference between ASK clusters and ACK clusters is the billing method. Because ASK clusters use serverless mode, ASK clusters do not support the subscription billing method and support only the pay-as-you-go billing method. For the VPC parameter, if you temporarily use an ASK cluster, click Create VPC. However, if you are working with a production environment, we recommend that you use a VPC that you configured. The vSwitch parameter specifies the pod vSwitch. We can take the pod vSwitch as a two-way network that does not contain nodes. The configurations of other parameters in this step are similar to the configurations for the creation of ACK clusters. ASK clusters do not contain nodes. You do not need to configure a node but need to configure components. Here are two major differences between the configurations for ASK and ACK clusters. The first difference is service discovery. You can use the Managed Private Zone service to enable service discovery. The second difference is that you can enable Knative in ASK clusters. We will talk about Knative in a later course. Next, click Confirm Order. On the Configuration Information page, you can see that the resources associated with ASK clusters are much fewer than the resources associated with ACK clusters. The system creates the ASK cluster in a significantly shorter period of time. The cluster is created within three minutes.